Thanks for listening. This is Brian Hurley from Business Performance Improvement. The podcast, Lean Six Sigma Bursts, are short lessons, comments, Q&A, and insights. If you have a question, send your question through the Anchor app, and we might feature you on a future episode. Or contact me at biz-pi.com. In this podcast, I share a clip of an interview I had with David Saunders that I posted on my Lean Six Sigma for Good podcast. I'm not going to share the whole thing. It's about almost an hour in length. But there was a small clip in there that I really wanted to highlight. This is our discussion around how quality and process improvement professionals can use their skills to help with climate change, help with sustainability in your organization, and apply those to environmental issues going on in your community. We discuss and summarize some steps that you can take if you like that topic and want to get more involved with that. So I thought I'd share that. Let me know if you have questions or want to discuss. Happy to chat with anybody who might be motivated or excited after hearing this. Thanks. Let me pause for a moment to tell you about our sponsor, Creative Safety Supply. Creative Safety Supply is a great resource for free guides, infographics, and continuous improvement tools. I recommend starting with their 5S guide. It includes breakdowns of the five pillars, ways to begin implementing 5S, and even organization tips and color charts. From red tags to floor markings, it's all there. Download it for free at creativesafetysupply.com slash 5S. We talked about, you know, once you start reporting some of these things and you see that you're wasting electricity, that's money you're throwing away down the drain, you know, and so that's good for profits and it exposes waste in your process and opportunities to make your process more streamlined. So this, this isn't... Um, Hopefully people aren't viewing this as extra work, but it's more like refocusing on different aspects of your business that maybe you've overlooked or haven't seen in the past that are is going to be good for your customers. It may attract customers, it may attract employees. And it's hard time, it's difficult to find employees today, you know. So these these are not uh, hopefully they're not seeing this as negative, but as a positive way to get ahead of your competition and really separate yourself and do things more streamlined. So I think it's a win-win yeah. if you look at it that way. If you, and if you're in the quality department, and, and this is something I felt personally, like what, uh, until I had the certificate, once I had the little CCP after my name, I had the credential to, to say something. But I often, and I do these calls in ASQ, I'd be afraid of some of the questions I might be asked. Someone might say to me, well, how did you do that calculation? What is nitrous oxide? Or some complicated question. The beauty of this field, frankly, <laughs> is that when you get a complicated question, you just turn it back to someone and say, well, please Google that and find the answer. Often, we don't have to know everything. We don't have to really be climate experts. We have to be process experts. And that is what we are. We are process experts. And we can really provide value as process experts to this, to this enterprise. We don't have to be bystanders. We can be on the team. They may be you know, a sustainability department. Well, they're handling it. Well, we can be part of that department. We can be a, a, a team player with them. We can be a help to them. And this is something, even for your own selfish career opportunity to make yourself more valuable to your organization, this is something we in the quality field can do just to make ourselves more valuable, let alone to tell our grandchildren. I, the other day, my granddaughter was introducing me to her new boyfriend, and she said, oh, this is my grandfather. He works in the field of climate change. You know, it made me feel like a million bucks. Um, but it's, it's, it's real, and it's here, and it's going to be here for the rest of our lifetime, for sure, for for totally sure. Yep. And I'd reiterate that point is when I started getting into this, you know, I, I had the same concerns that I don't know enough. So I went back and took some classes at, in college and got a sustainability certificate, but um, I probably delayed my engagement a little bit with um, thinking I had to wait to be knowledgeable and have all this information about global warming potential and all this stuff. I didn't really. 
I needed mm -hmm. to just bring the skill set I already had and I'll pick up and learn that as you go. But um, I would definitely tell people, just go and express interest to people in leadership that you think might have a, a sympathetic voice to what you're talking about and say, I'm interested in this topic, don't know how I fit in, but I want to, to move in this direction and just keep trying to insert yourself in there. Don't wait for an invitation and say, I'm gonna hope that the finance team reaches out to us. They're probably not asked to be included. Say, I want to be involved and, and, and get yourself a seat at the table um, because they may not realize they need your help till you get in there and then they're like, oh wow, this is really helpful. You do have this skill set we didn't think about or know. So I definitely encourage people to, to step up and, 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 and go to your company and, and talk and say, this is something I'm interested in. How can I get involved? Um, and that's what I did. And I got a lot of opportunities out of that. We got to do some projects. We got to, I got to be part of a corporate sustainability team and, um, it really changed my career path, but I had to step up and, and I, no one came to me and asked for my involvement. So I think that's what, uh, a great recommendation. Lean Six Sigma definition.com has a list of glossary items about popular process improvement terms, along with the history of lean and Six Sigma methods and key influencers like Dr. Edward Stemming, Henry Ford, Taichi Ono, Shigeo Shingo, and many more. You can also learn how to access affordable Lean and Six Sigma training and certification. Visit LeanSixSigmaDefinition.com.